Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube. What's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today, uh, I had a good question. Question was, do I use um, defensive linemen? Do I manually rush? And the answer is really no. But I guess in a sense you could say I do because in some situations I may mush rush with a guy, meaning just kind of sit there and contain a quarterback like you'll kind of see here with um, Reader sometimes. And so, yeah, sometimes I'll take the one of the D tackles or maybe an end or somebody and drop them off into coverage. One, because I can I can actually I pick off a lot of passes with with D linemen, but for me what it does is it helps me disguise a lot of my defenses like you see right there so you know it it it's like it doesn't all oh, it doesn't hurt to have that extra guy kind of lurking underneath middle in coverage if you know especially if you know what you have called like you know all the rest of your adjustments are good you know you can kind of force a guy into a late uh read or a late attempt you know if if your adjustments are really good you know at the beginning of the play and it takes away you know what the initial reads are so yeah so i guess i i do play with the defensive lineman from time to time um i'll kind of play with anybody on the field though like especially i i probably my preference would be to more play with linebackers but sometimes you may have somebody who comes out like this um in a five wide set and you know you have to you're not going to necessarily be able to always stop the quarterback, but, you know, as long as I can keep the quarterback scrambles or escapes up the middle to a minimum gain, you know, especially if the rest of my adjustments are good. Now, some guys will, you know, they'll try to force it into coverage. Sometimes you just need, you know, to be able to take one of the guys that are in coverage, maybe put them in a spy and then you go cover his spot yourself. Or, you know, again, like when I play with the linebackers, anytime that I'm blitzing, you know, I may have to just guard the running back myself, you know, and a lot of times, especially, you know, these guys like to let the running backs go out. But if they keep them in, then now you're free, you know, to drop back into coverage and, and do what you do. Man, that's a wild little uh, play that they added right there, man. That That is, that's a wild play. But you see, I had to click on to the end actually on that play in order to get out there. So a lot of the time, yeah, it's, it's random. I'm, I'm going to do it like according to what's happening on the play, because sometimes the only way to get over there and cut the playoff is to play, you know, like with a defensive end. And so, um, but yeah, but yeah, man, um, just, just, oh yeah, the, uh, the no abilities league yeah yeah we are taking i uh, i guess we have a few spots now it's this thing is gonna fill up fast so no abilities league is going to get going uh here i think the invites will start going out this week so i have updated my um all the registration stuff so yeah y'all start if you uh registered for the no ability the world elite no abilities league then you should be getting an invite this week or receiving some information this week either via uh the email that you put or um yeah however i contact you i don't know but anyway yeah man so um i think yeah the next virtual we have coming up we're gonna we are actually gonna do some defensive stuff because i've been seeing like yes yeah, i've been having problems with myself on defense my guys just are not tackling at certain points and so yeah just getting some some new reaction stuff going trying to make sh make sure that we have a scheme together that um i got a nice little hybrid that yeah i'm gonna drop in that that virtual video but 
you see right there, man, just just being able to, you know, throwing them platinum dimes. Um, got that Doug Williams. Yeah, yeah, Doug is kind of nice on the Ultimate Team, without a doubt. You know, getting all your um, the set feet lead and you get all that kind of stuff, you know, for a certain amount of AP. But, yeah, man, it doesn't matter, though. You know, we throw the ball with pretty much anybody on this game, you know. Go get one of those virtuals, man, over there on Coach DC 404, man. Get your, get your throwing, get your accuracy right. I got something coming up in a couple weeks that that I'm kind of, I'm working on right now, trying to perfect. But yeah, man, for my accuracy thing, accuracy standpoint, man, I, I may have cracked the code on something I'm thinking, but it's, it's looking pretty good right now. So, um, a lot of this stuff that I get into, like. Yeah, it's, it's more user-based, but, like, you'll see, like, a guy like this. Like, this is me and, and my man Doc J doing a, a, a on live, the, the real session, and just watch how he handles the defense. <laughs> hey, man, them sessions be getting live, man. I'm telling you, you see some of them. Some of the best highlights that I get are always, like, in the live mic sessions because it's like when I'm trying to teach guys this stuff and – like to really watch like their maturity with it and, and like you know how they use the stick pressure and how they turn it into their own you know what I'm saying like because everybody's offense is different that's the one thing I love about the mechanics is I'm never really going to try to change anybody's offense you know for the most part I want you to do whatever it is you do because if you learn the mechanics really all the routes are good I mean like you know if you're throwing them at the right space point in time like right there but then watch Madden make me run out of bounds and cost me a touchdown yeah kind of stuff you got to deal with out here but for the most part you know what I'm saying it's like you w once you know the mechanics really you can play and I, I was talking to somebody about this this morning as a matter of fact you can play a safer brand of football because you can understand it. You can take a screen pass and you really can shake that guy, you know, shake that first guy and pick up like major yards on a lot of these screen passes. I've been pumping that screen pass video for what, over a month now. And I mean, a lot, a lot of people, trust me, a lot of people have gotten it, but I'm telling you, it's understanding the power of movement and how to stop and start um, without losing like momentum and all that kind of stuff. Those are like the little things on the game that will win you games. Those are the little things on the game that will take your game from one level to the next. I keep telling y'all about these comeback routes. Now, I can think the only guys who run comeback routes are the guys in my league, like from the PCE and um, original leagues. Because, man, they sure be killing me when I play them. Boy, like they don't run comebacks on nobody else. They gonna run them on me. <laughs> but, yeah, them comebacks are hard, especially, you know, once you, like I said, you understand how to get your feet set, weight shift, you know, and, and get into your throwing animations. I be telling y'all way too much on here uh, for the guy who said the last, <laughs> I think he put the comments. He says the first video where I didn't tell him nothing. I'm like, hey, man, I ain't supposed to be telling you something every video. That's why I have clients. But going to Coach DC 404, man. And, do what you need to do if you want to get some of this real stuff. Get you the Mechanics Bible. I promise you. Every guy, I'm going to keep saying this until all, all of the people in the world have one that play Madden. Because all of the people in the world who play Madden should have the Mechanics Bible 1 and 2. I tell you, it's, it's the best mechanics publication in Madden history. And these, those are not my words. Those are actually words of, you know, some people who purchased it and so you, you gotta understand fellas all this stuff everything that we go through on the game all the algorithm stuff everything has an answer it or it has at least at least yeah there's a question there <laughs> i don't know if it has an answer but everything has a question to it and and everything can be tied to mechanics you can learn how to slow your guys down elevate for the ball you know, throw passes that put you in the position to make the catch, throw passes on classic, you know, where you can get the, the ball over the underneath defenders. 
and the ball not run out of steam. There's mechanics to this stuff. CoachDC404.com. Telling you, go to the website, look at the virtuals, look at the menus. You don't even have to get the virtual. The funny part is, you probably could get some virtuals from 2022 or I don't or I don't even know the last time when they've been updated. But you could get some of the old virtuals, and the old virtuals would probably teach you more than you know at this point about this current game. Anyway, it's your boy Coach.